What is up, my buttery biscuits? Today's video is my November anti haul. I did mention to you guys before that I will be doing a holiday gift set, kind of like buy guide of like what I would buy that are holiday gift sets and that I think are worth the money. And then I'm also going to be doing a holiday makeup collection slash gift set anti haul. I don't know if I'm going to do that at the end of this month or the beginning of next month, but it will be definitely coming pretty soon. Also, I'm going to do a video too talking about the after Christmas sell. I personally feel like the best time to shop for a holiday gift gift sets or just makeup in general is like the week after Christmas. Well, I guess I would say makeup collect uh, holiday makeup collections and holiday gift sets because they do mark them down after that. And y'all, sometimes they have really, really good deals. I'm low key kind of hoping, okay, I know that I'm probably just like, like wishful thinking too much here and this is probably not going to happen, but I'm kind of hoping that the um, makeup by Mario, um, what is it called? The ethereal lights palette is going to be on sale after Christmas. Cause that's what I would like hope to buy after Christmas. If you guys did not see, I did a full video of what I would buy from the holiday Sephora sale um, where I got the 20% off. But y'all, I didn't buy one single thing. I'm very proud of myself, to be honest with you guys, because I am saving up for a trip right now. It's a really, really big trip. And I'm like, y'all, I got to save a lot of money for that. So I was very frugal, didn't buy one single thing, even though I really wanted to so bad. I really, really wanted to. But I was like, no, let me just wait. And on top of that, too, I do have to buy gifts for other people. So I'm like, let me not let me save for my trip and let me save for other people and not get myself anything. But I probably probably will splurge a little bit after Christmas because honestly, y'all, some of the gift sets, I want to say it was like last year or the year prior. Like I got the two pack of the Charlotte Tilbury for like $19. And I was like, y'all, that's just a deal. I could not pass up $19. And on top of that too, I think that I may have had like a coupon too. Like there may have been like, or maybe I took the $10 off. I don't know, but I got things for like super cheap. Oh, also I did get the two pack of mini travel size, um, no, it wasn't the travel size. Oh my gosh. I got the two pack of the on till dawn setting spray right here. Actually, look, I have both of them right here. <laughs> um, these were marked down after Christmas too. So I'm like really hoping that they do have some good after Christmas stuff. Cause that's really when I like to shop the most. So within today's anti haul, I really did try my hardest to not put too many holiday makeup collections as I will be talking about them in the beginning of December or end of this month. I'm really not too sure, but there is still a couple holiday makeup collections within today's video that I wanted to talk about, but don't worry though, because I feel like there is just enough like holiday sets and holiday makeup collections to talk about within several other videos. So don't you worry, I will be making those holiday specific videos coming up really, really soon. So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get into it. I forgot to mention too, make sure you guys go show some love to my second channel. I would really, really appreciate that. It'll be linked down below. Also check out my most recent podcast. It'll be linked down below too. All those things are always going to be linked down below. I forgot to mention to you guys before too, I keep, I can literally keep on forgetting to mention this. Whatever you see on my face, which pretty much every single time I do my makeup for this channel. I pretty much just wear the same thing over and over again. It's linked down below with the little like YouTube shop. Those are affiliate links. It does let you know that, that I do get a small commission from that. Just letting you guys know that everything that I pretty much talk about will be linked there. Well, if they do have it available on the YouTube little shopping thing. Anyways, this first palette right here, I want to talk about from a brand that I, I've never heard of, to be quite honest with you guys. It's called Elmar Cosmetics. This palette right here, I have to say, I just feel like it's just very boring, but the reason, okay, look, the reason I put this in here, first of all, I feel like the packaging looks really cheap, but on top of that too, I genuinely feel like I'm getting to the place with eyeshadow palettes that I'm just like over them all. Like it's going to take a whole lot for me to actually say, I love an eyeshadow palette. I want to purchase it. And it's really kind of crazy too, because if I'm keeping it real with you guys, every single time that I see a neutral eyeshadow palette, just like the makeup by Mario Ethereal Lights, I absolutely love that palette, but it's so crazy that I still have like put off buying it for the past like year now. Cause I'm like, okay, I have every color like that. Do you know what I mean? Everything that I like these days, I feel like I have so much repetitive of that. I'm just like, okay, you got to stop. You know, and I have to say, I'm very proud of myself because if you guys go back like two years on my channel, I like loved every single eyeshadow palette. I had like an eyeshadow like addiction and I completely stopped buying eyeshadow palettes. Now, obviously, I'm um, picking up the um, James Charles basic canvas palette as well as the Scorpio palette to do reviews of. Obviously, just keeping it real for you guys or just keeping it real with you guys. I really feel like I'm just picking those up because that's what gets in the most views. And obviously here on YouTube, you kind of kind of do what gets you the views. Obviously, at the end of the day, it's like a business and you need those views to to make the money so i just feel like i don't know like things like this i'm like i just would not pick this up i do feel like there are some cute shades in there the um shade soul is pretty that like golden shade but other than that i'm like i don't know y'all i feel like all eyeshadow palettes are just so lackluster now i'm like everything has been done and 
There's just so many brands, y'all. So many brands. Next up is from a holiday collection. This is Beauty Blender right here. This says that it is their limited edition collector set. It says 12 of the best-selling beauty blenders for $195. For an everyday consumer, I 100% do not get the purpose of this. This is so, like, extra to me. I don't think that you would need this at all. And I just don't get it, to be quite honest with you guys. Because I'm like, who really needs 12 beauty blenders? Like, look, if you are a freelance makeup artist, 100% total get that if you obviously work in like a salon and you're doing makeup totally get that but for an everyday person like myself i would never like need this honestly i feel like the sponges that i get i order them from amazon this one is super dirty right here don't pay attention to this but i order the juno and co i love the juno and co ones and i want to say it's like six of them Y'all, I want to say it was like six for like $18. Like it was super cheap, but there was a coupon on it though. There was a coupon. So that's why I'm like, maybe it was cheap because of that. So I'm like, y'all, six of those for that. And then this right here is 12 for $195. Like this is a hail to the no. Like not only do I not need 12 beauty blenders, but $195 is just way too much. I feel like this is like a first for my anti-haul, but I really do want to start incorporating other products other than makeup onto my anti-haul. I am going to always avoid hair stuff though, because obviously as you guys know, I'm completely bald. So if I were to like mention anything hair, it's like, of course I'm not going to purchase anything hair related because I don't have any hair, but I do want to talk about other things too, whether it be like body bombs or like, you know, candles, like this right here is candles. This is from a brand that I actually have never heard of before. This is from Floral, Fl how do you say, how do you say it? Floral. Fleur. Wait, oh my gosh. Why am I so... Fleur. Fleur. I think that's how you pronounce it. Fleur. These are $45. I don't give a shit if these are the best selling... Uh, sell, selling. The best smelling candles I've ever smelled. I'm not spending $45 on one single candle. I am constantly seeing on TikTok that there's doctors out there that are saying do not light like regular candles inside your house. They need to be like um, soy only or like beeswax because other ones cause cancer. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, y'all. But at the end of the day, I feel like this stuff is for the rich. And let's go ahead and keep it real that everything now is bad for you. Literally putting makeup on your face causes cancer. Literally like the sun causes cancer. Food dyes cause you cancer. Everything causes cancer. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. And honestly, at the end of the day, what can you really do to avoid that? So I I feel like I'm going to continue using my regular bath and body candles because I get them for super cheap during the candle day sale, you know? So I feel like something like this that like, honestly, it doesn't even say right here that they are soy based or they are, um, beeswax so i don't even know what they are but honestly y'all i'm not gonna spend 45 dollars on a candle like absolutely not like that is just that's crazy to me and it says that it's a 70 hour burn time which i don't know y'all i feel like the three wick candles from um um did i say bath and body works Oh my gosh. Y'all, sometimes I'd be saying Bed Bath & Beyond instead of Bath & Body Works, so I forgot what I said. But anyways, I feel like those burn for long enough too. Anyways, we have another eyeshadow palette right here. Now, I do want to say this is very cute. It is very thoughtful and it is very nostalgic. I'm sure all of us can relate to these little cookie tins right here. This is from Cara Beauty. I just feel like the color story of this is just not cute. I don't like it. The whole concept is absolutely cute. I really do like it. This honestly reminds me of my grandma who passed away years ago. She used to have a cookie tin all the time of like sewing stuff inside of it so i think that this is really really cute and very nostalgic i feel like we can all relate to this but specifically talking about the color story i do not like it like i do not like it at all i feel like it is so ugly i don't even get it like it's just it's not cute to me like whatsoever like it's giving me spring vibes inside there and it's like I don't know, y'all. This is winter time, and it's like a cookie tin, and it's just... I don't know. The colors to me are just ugly. I don't like it. I do want to say, though, $23 is really not too bad, but um, it's a very well-thought-out idea, and honestly, it's very, very different, and I do have to say very nostalgic because we can all relate to this cookie tin, but... I just don't like the color story, y'all. And speaking of color story, this is another one that I don't like from right here. This is from M Cosmetics. This little cool tone eyeshadow palette is $42. I am so sorry. I've never heard of EM or M Cosmetics, but this to me is just insane and on top of that too i don't like the layout of this like this little compact i don't i don't like it but like 45 or 42 dollars y'all for just these like for six eyeshadows i don't know maybe this brand is like super good to be honest with you i've never heard of them before um and i just feel like i don't know maybe they maybe they're like pat mcgrath quality maybe that's why someone let me know down below because i've never heard of them but 42 dollars for this and on top of that too y'all know that i'm just like not in my cool tone era which i do think that that may make a comeback though because honestly y'all like maybe 
seven years ago, that's all I would wear is cool tones. And I really did like it on my eye, but I'm kind of in my like warm tone era. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, mm, maybe I wouldn't purchase this because it's $42, but then maybe in the future, maybe I'll get back into it. But I still wouldn't purchase it for $42. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, that's expensive for this, especially because I don't know the brand. Next up, we have more candles and I am so sorry. This to me just blows my mind. Like, I'm sorry. I'm Maybe because I'm like been broke. I am broke. So I'm never going to relate to being able to purchase a $75 candle. These right here are product candles. And you know what blows my mind about these is they look so basic. Like, why are you spending $75 on this? I feel like if you're going to spend $75 on a product candle, it's going to be because the actual like component itself is like very intricate and it looks very designer and you're like, you're paying for the actual glass or something. Do you know what I mean? But looking at this, it just looks like a green glass with a Prada sticker on it. Like this looks so basic, so boring that I'm just like, why is this $75? I don't get it. I could literally win $1 billion tomorrow and I'm not going to spend $75 on a candle. Maybe if it like cured your common cold or maybe if it like killed coronavirus or something, like maybe then I would spend $75 on it. But like $75 for a candle to me is mind blowing because looking at this, I would not know what would be the difference between this candle and a Bath & Body Works candle. And on top of that too, like looking at the trend mood section, I thought like, okay, maybe I would see that it's like beeswax or maybe it's soy, like things that are going to cost more, but it doesn't say anything like that. Like there's no standout ingredients that make this different. I'm sure there probably is something different to it than a Bath and Body Works candle, but it's not listed right here. So therefore I'm kind of like, what's the purpose of spending $75 on this candle? I really don't get it. I'm sure some of them probably smell really good, but... Just absolutely not, y'all. Like, I'm so sorry, but damn, $75 for a candle. This has me thinking sometimes that people spend this much money on a, like, product that I'm like, you've never been broke before because I am sorry, but that brokenness, even if I was rich, is still gonna carry on with me to be like, $75 for a candle? What the hell? I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, next up on the list, we have Carolina Herrera. These are two-in-one cheek blush and lip color hybrids. Um, I may have talked about these before, or I may be getting it confused with the Valentino ones. Like, did Valentino recently come out with a lip and cheek color? I think they may have. I kind of don't remember. This pink is throwing me off, so I don't know if I talked about this before, but these right here, I'm so sorry, but $46, it's a no. Like, honestly, it's a no. Like, $46, and on top of that, too, I don't know if it's just the images, but they look really, really small. I didn't even know that Carolina Herrera actually had makeup... Um, um, products. I think this is new. Does it say what well, does? I mean, obviously I know the product is new, but I didn't know if Carolina Herrera had makeup before. I do have to say, I do have a cologne of hers. It's in a, I'm too lazy to stand up and get it. It's in a like lightning bolt bottle, but it's specifically the dark, dark blue one. I want to tell all the ladies out there, if you're looking for a cologne for your man, every single time that I wear this cologne, women love it they're like oh my gosh you smell so good i feel so bad like sometimes i'll be going out say for example if i'm like going into like ralph's or like bevmo total wine girls literally will be like look and then they look at me and they're like oh it's just a big old gay man like i feel like they look because they're like oh my god they're attracted to the smell and then they get disappointed that it's a big old flaming hot gay man you know what i mean but y'all if you guys are looking for a cologne for your men check out that cologne honestly it smells really good every time i wear it I get so many compliments, specifically from women. I feel like it's just, I don't know, women just like that scent. It smells kind of manly, you know? Anyways, moving on, we are going to be talking about this Melt Halloween uh, collection. Well, sorry, it says Halloween 2023, but it says the Christmas Town collection. They did do a two-part. As you guys know, I talked about the first one before, which I want to say it was Oogie Boogie, I think it was, was it? Anyways, didn't like that one, don't like this one. I'm sorry, but I've said it before. I know everyone loves their Melt products. They say they make great formulas, but I don't know why for some reason Melt just never does it for me. Like, I, y'all, I literally love The Nightmare Before Christmas, and I just feel like this, the outer packaging is cute, but the inside, I don't like it. I just don't like it at all. This is just way too colorful for me. You got your greens and purples and reds, and I'm like, no, I would not wear this, so... I would definitely pass on this, which kind of makes me sad. Eventually, there is going to be something from Melt that I'm going to have to have. There was one palette, I forget what it was, that I saw it way too late. And I was like, oh my god, I love it. And I tried to explain to you guys before. I didn't purchase it because I couldn't do a review of it. Because it came out like two months prior. And I'm like, I'm not going to get any views on this. So why waste my money purchasing it, you know? Anyways, the very last thing on the list right here is a Dior Advent Calendar. Hell no. Okay, this is $750. I know that Christian Dior is obviously very expensive stuff, but y'all, $750? 
no i just i literally could not ever 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 justify doing this maybe if i got like hundreds of thousands of views here on youtube then maybe i would do it do you know what i mean obviously just for like the views but y'all 750 dollars i can't I, I can't make no 750 dollars off one video i would have to make like 17 videos with that just to make my money back so i'm like no and on top of that too i'm so sorry but i just don't ever really see like that big of a difference in like luxury products versus you know regular price point products i I feel like there is a difference when it comes down to like foundations and concealers and powders. I definitely do notice. Like y'all know I'm always raving about like the Hourglass um Vell powder. I have yet to find one that is like a drugstore version of that. That powder is just so finely milled, so blurring, so beautiful, and I can't find anything like it. You know what I mean? So I do think when it comes down to some products like like complexion products really like okay higher end i understand but when it comes down to like eyeshadows and lipsticks and blushes and stuff like that i'm like no i'm good anyways that wraps it up for my november anti-haul make sure you guys keep your eyes open for my december one i don't know if i'm gonna do it at the end of this month or december just keep your eyes open i will be doing a full-on holiday edition of an anti-haul as well as a um purchasing guide of like what i would buy from holiday collections as well as holiday makeup sets so keep your eyes open make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up i'd appreciate that peace out girl scout